Hello, Laura Worthington here. I've made this video tutorial to show you how to use the frames font that I've designed for my collections, which include adorn, boucherie, and charcuterie. There's also written instructions for this in the user guides associated with these fonts on my website, and if you've purchased any of these, they're also included in your download. When I was a graphic designer, I used frames, corners, and borders a lot in my work, but what I found to be frustrating about them was how limited the selection was. With stock art, you usually get a single design in one proportion, say a rectangle, and if you needed it to be in a square, you'd have to do a lot of editing and adjusting to make it work for that purpose, or draw your own. Same thing if you wanted the frame to be thicker or thinner, you'd have to do some work to make that happen as well. It was all really pretty time consuming. So when I became a typeface designer, I realized that fonts have more uses than just you know that of the alphabet. There's all kinds of things you can do with fonts as illustrative design elements. And with frame fonts, they solve the problem of proportions, thicks and thins, and gives you the option to completely customize and stylize a frame any way you want. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a new layer for your border and name it frames. Create a new text frame, the size of the border that you want to create, or click anywhere to start a text frame. Click in the text frame and choose the frames font you want to use from the drop down menu. A uh, quick note, some of the frames fonts uh, may appear as a set of borders or little icons instead of the name of the font in the drop down menu. Open the glyphs panel and select the top left border corner. Double click to insert this corner. Next, select the top right corner and insert it. Hit enter on the keyboard. Repeat this step until the bottom left and right corners are put in. Highlight the border pieces and adjust the font size until it has the thickness you want. Then adjust the leading to be the same size as the font. For example, if your font is 72 point, then your leading should be 72 point. Place your cursor between the top left and right corner pieces and insert a horizontal piece from the glyph menu. Do the same between the left and right bottom corners. Now place your cursor on the right side of the top right corner and hit the enter key vertical piece from the glyph menu to insert, then add vertical pieces to the right side of the border, adding space as necessary. Continue adding vertical and horizontal pieces until the border is the width and height you want. When you have your border the way you like, lock the layer and create a new layer for the rest of your design. Another method for using the frames is by using your keyboard. I've set it up so that um, everything is sort of right next to each other. So, for example, um, the corners of this particular frame could be A, B, C, and D, and the side pieces may be 1, 2, 3, and 4. So you can just simply type them up. Now for the banners. The banners work pretty much the same thing as the frames. You know, you want to um, make a new layer, uh, put, make a new text box, and then from the glyphs panel, go ahead and select the left side piece that you want and any of the middle pieces that you want to use along with a left piece and there you have it, you're done. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any more questions about this, feel free to take a look at my website, lauraworthingtontype.com.